Maria Venus Rock, 22, Philippines. What is one big mistake that you've made in your life and what did you do to make it right? Thank you so much, sir, for that wonderful question. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, Las Vegas. You know what, sir, in my 22 years of existence, I can say that there is nothing major, major, I mean, problem that I have done in my life because I am very confident with my family, with the love that they are giving to me. So thank you so much that I am here. Thank you, thank you so much. Shamsi Sup Sup, 25 Philippines. Would you change your religious beliefs to marry the person you loved? Why? Or why not? If I had to change my religious beliefs, I would not marry the person that I love. Because the first person that I love is God, who created me. And I have my faith, my principles, and this is what makes me who I am. And if that person loves me, should love my God too. Thank you. Muito obrigada, Brazil. Do you believe that speaking English should be a prerequisite to being Miss Universe? Why or why not? For me, being Miss Universe is not just about knowing how to speak a specific language. It's being able to influence and inspire other people. So, what, so whatever language you have, as long as your heart is to serve and you have a strong mind to, to, to show to people, then you can be Miss Universe. Thank you. Thank you very much. What can be done about the lack of jobs for young people starting their careers around the world? As previous Rosia, so um, for the people who have lack of jobs, I do believe that we people should invest in, edu in education and that is my primary advocacy because if we all know that if every one of us is educated and well aware of what we are doing, we could um, land into jobs and we could land our good careers in the future. So education is primary source and it's a ticket for a better future. Thank you. Mary Jean Lastimosa, Philippines! My name is Mary Jean Lastimosa, Miss Philippines. I was studying in Manila when my parents decided to migrate to Saudi Arabia because my dad's Arabian and my mom's Filipina. And because my mom has bigger dreams and she wanted us to finish our studies, one of my uncles decided to just take care of us. That's where we grew up with him. Uh, so this is my family, my uncle. He wasn't able to survive cancer. I think now he's in a better seat watching me and he's guiding me as my angel. I'm dedicating this competition for him. Pia Alonzo Wurzbach, Philippines! Why should you be the next Miss Universe? To be a Miss Universe is both an honor and a responsibility. If I were to be Miss Universe, I will use my voice to influence the youth and I would raise awareness to certain causes like HIV awareness that is timely and relevant to my country, which is the Philippines. I want to show the world, the universe rather, that I am confidently beautiful with a heart. Thank you. Philippines. What is the most significant change you've seen in the world in the last 10 years? Ano ang pinakamakabuluhang naganap na pangyayaring nakita mo sa mundo sa loob ng 10 taon? In the last 10 years of being here in the world is that I saw all the people bringing in one event like this in Miss Universe. And it's something big to us that we are one. As one nation, we are all together. Thank you. Salam rami salamat po. Rachel Peters, Philippines! The ocean has a calming effect on me. Just being out in the water, you just basically have to surrender yourself to the ocean. When you catch your first wave, you just feel so victorious. <laughs> 
Ever since I was a kid, we've always lived close to a beach. We were always wakeboarding, scuba diving. That's something that's just been embedded in me. Recently, I opened my own coffee shop on Shargao Island in the Philippines, and I'm so proud. I feel like I've really grown into a new woman since starting this business, and hopefully that inspires people to have a goal and work towards that goal. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? I work a lot in the slums of Tondo, Manila and the life there is very, it's poor and it's very sad and I've always taught myself to look for the beauty in it, to look in the beauty in the faces of the children and to be grateful. And I would bring this aspect as a Miss Universe to see situations with a silver lining and to assess where I could give something, where I could provide something as a spokesperson. And this, I think, if I could teach also people to be grateful, we could have an amazing world where negativity could not grow and foster and children would have a smile on their face. Thank you. I hear you have five names. Why, why so many? Well, Steve, my mom named me Gazzini, Christiana, Jordi, Acopiado Ganados, and three of those is my first name. So Gazzini, which means Gazan, which is from my dad's name. Christiana, because I was actually born after Christmas, so I'm December 26th. So what you guys don't know is that this is a great opportunity for, opportunity for me to shout out to all my friends and family who gives me one gift on Christmas and on my birthday. So, <laughs> so guys, Steve, I only want one gift this Christmas and my birthday. And I think you already know about that. Rabia Oxenio Mateo, Philippines. This is Rabia Oxenio Mateo, all the way from the Philippines. I really had my humble beginnings and education had transformed my life. Now I am a teacher and I hope that my students will see the value of education the way that I saw it. I live in a country where there's a lot of poor families and education is our social equalizer that regardless of what background you have, what status of your family, if you educate yourself, you will be able to land a great job. Given the ever-changing COVID situation, what is your opinion of mandating a universal vaccine passport? Boker Tov, Israel. Shalom. I believe that public health is everyone's responsibility. And to mandate a vaccine inoculation is necessary. And if uh, mandating pass a vaccine passport would help us in regulating and uh, the rollout of vaccine and mitigate the situation of the pandemic today, then I would agree on mandating the necessary uh, passport of vaccination. Thank you. Thank you.